Hi, I'm Paul Gabriel Scullion, Director of Biomechanics Foot Laboratory. I'm a podiatrist and podiatric surgeon in practice here in Dublin. Welcome to this educational video. Today I'm going to demonstrate the neutral position casting technique for the foot. These casts are used to order prescription orthotic devices. The better you cast, the better the results for your patients. You need the following items. A basin of warm water, plastic sheeting to protect your floor, your plaster of Paris bandage, some scissors and a pen or pencil to mark the cask with. Your first bandage comes from the fifth metatarsal head around the back of the heel to the first metatarsal and this bandage is doubled up. The second bandage comes from the lateral malleolus around the front of the toes and where the medial fat pad blends into the arch. Again, this bandage is doubled up. I put a small fold on top of the bandage which helps with reinforcement and here is a clue. Keeping the bandage flat during its wetting process helps a lot. The bandage is then applied to the back of the heel and you choose one side to pull in underneath the sole of the foot. Carefully apply the bandage to eliminate any air bubbles. Take your second half of your bandage and pull this over as well. Remember if you pull too much either side you will make the cast too shallow. Smooth out the bottom to eliminate any air bubbles. Remember your cast is already starting to set so it's important to get your second bandage on. Again you wet the bandage, keeping it flat and apply one side only. Be sure to cover over the sole of the foot and when you apply the second aspect of this bandage keep the front of the toes relaxed. Always avoid putting tension around the front of the toes. You can use a small amount of tissue to place on the fourth and fifth metatarsal head. This stops your thumb from slipping. Apply pressure on the fourth and fifth net head with your thumb. Pinch the top of the fourth and fifth net head with the other finger and dorsiflex your foot to a 90 degree position. There are some circumstances whereby 90 degrees is not achievable and the exception is when you have an equinus condition. You can manipulate the foot into its neutral position and with your free hand ensure that the tendons are relaxed and you can also smooth the cast even further. You can check when the cast is set by tapping it with a pencil. When it's not set, it makes a dull sound like that. At this stage, it's vital to record your patient's name on the bottom of the cast. Putting your patient's name on the cast at this stage avoids any confusion with other casts. Another sound test confirms that the cast is ready to come off. There is a technique for taking the cast off correctly. You need to pinch the skin and separate it from the inside of the cast. You spread your fingers evenly around the rim of the cast and pull towards you with an even pressure. Once you see the plantar aspect of the heel, you can cup the heel of the cast and push straight down and rotate at the same time. Another final step is to put the foot back in its neutral position 
and compare the shape of your cast to the shape of your patient's foot. Ensure to look at the sole of the heel and the ball of the foot and look at that on your cast as well. If it looks the same, it's a good cast. If the cast looks completely different, you need to recast the foot again. That is how to take a cast properly. For further information, visit our website www.biomechanicsfootlab.com for further educational videos. Of particular interest is our cast evaluation video that goes with this one. Our cast evaluation video provides you with 10 simple steps to evaluate your own cast. Use the 10 steps to refine your casting technique. Remember, better casts give better results for your patients.